Hello, this is Al Withers with the Minnesota Agriculture in the Classroom program, and I'm based at the Minnesota Department of Agriculture. Uh, our program's effort is to help uh, students and teachers in grades K-12 uh, learn a little bit more about their food system and how agriculture is important to their daily life. We publish a variety of uh, very relevant and good materials for the classroom, a magazine for students, uh, we just did a renewable energy DVD for science programs, and we also do a geography curriculum called Food for Thought. But we also provide dollars to teachers in the form of small grants to try to be, uh, become innovative and to try new projects at integrating agriculture into the classroom. And this little segment today is to uh, show you or to showcase one of those projects at Falcon Ridge Middle School out in Apple Valley. And maybe if you're a teacher viewing this program, uh, it will inspire you to uh, think about how you can incorporate agriculture across some of your subject areas in your own school. So with that, I want to introduce Scott Fiegel. Scott, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and Falcon Ridge. Hi, my name is Scott Fiegel. I've been a teacher here at Falcon Ridge since the building opened in 1996. I'm a seventh grade science teacher. Okay, now in your school, you use uh, the approach of houses. Explain a house. We've got uh, about 190 kids in a house, and what we have are six different classes, their core classes, that these kids are all together for. They leave the uh, house for two classes a day that would be electives, but their math, science, English, uh, communications, and history teachers all have the same kids. Okay, so now we're having you do some project, a project related to agriculture. I would suspect that the teachers aren't experts in agriculture, and the kids don't know a lot about agriculture, so why would you use agriculture as a, as a theme? We first applied for a grant in 1994, and at that time I knew a John Deere tractor was green, and that was about it. And we were answering an ad that appeared that said, uh, grants available for teachers for a project. At the time, our school was pretty close to a cornfield, and uh, we decided that where it might work to get six teachers doing six different things with a main theme, we chose agriculture. And each of the teachers um, that started this uh, knew just about as much as I did, very little, but uh, through the ag industry and um, ag in the classroom helping us out, um, that's where we learned. We were kind of one step ahead of the kids on this. In a nutshell, what do you do? You're doing a, basically a week-long immersion. You do field trips. You have this farm game that, that they, uh, they actually develop their own farm. But in a nutshell, what is the goal for the week and the outcomes? The goal for the week really is to try to get kids to work together on a project, and that project being agriculture, and learning really how agriculture is so important in their lives. Uh, now being in a city school like this, we've taken kids out to some areas, and they were startled a few years ago when they heard a cow moo. And uh, when I was a kid, we went to Como Zoo to see lions and tigers. Uh, the Minnesota Zoo, you can go to to see cattle. So what we tried to do was to take the theme of agriculture and get children uh, more interested in it. And so that basically they could understand where some of the products that they were using came from and how it's relevant and important to their lives. And so within the week, you're doing what? We start on Monday by having some people uh, talk to each individual about three crops and three animals. And these kids then throughout the day learn about a particular crop, uh, corns, bean, and alfalfa, and they are required to raise uh, hogs, dairy cattle, and beef. And what they do then is to meet back together on Monday and plan out a 256-acre farm. They choose the uh, acreage for each of these things, and they have to purchase the equipment, uh, and that's kind of where they get set up. Tuesday we have some uh, local experts that are in the field of agriculture come talk to the kids, uh, director of ag um, ag co-ops, uh, we've had some senior citizens that grew up on farms, we've had some other experts in the ag industry come in and talk to us. Um, Tuesdays, that's pretty much what happens. On Wednesdays we go out to uh, six different farms locally and get tours. Uh, Thursday, the highlight is kind of a product day, and Friday is a market day where they roll dice for price and yield uh, to figure out the profits on their farm. Um, we have more, probably more than 40 different egg companies that have donated uh, various prizes to the kids, and Friday then winners for uh, top three profit, farm design, artwork, uh, taking tests on these things. This is all uh, our week. What do you think the kids get out of this? What is the most important 
connection or, or the wow about agriculture that they're actually learning this week? It's kind of an interesting question. Um, sometimes it's the fact that they got to actually touch a cow that they'll remember. Sometimes they've picked up uh, a little feeder pig and it's gone to the bathroom on them and that sticks with them. But I think for most of them it's a, a very positive experience for their first um, chance to be around agriculture. And for some of these kids that uh, go further in school, we try to bring in the science of it, talk about genetics, we talk about uh, plants uh, as it goes. And these are the kinds of things that the exposure to leads to further interest, I think, on them. Like, we went to a farm yesterday, a dairy farm yesterday, and the person who helped us, like, said that he would have to get up at, like, 2 in the morning just to milk cows for, the, for just one milking a, out of the three a day. I, I've, like, never seen a cow that close before, and I never, like, understood how they milked cows, and it's got more technical than I thought it would. For another teacher that is viewing this that says, that sounds like a pretty good idea. Uh, does this make teaching harder, uh, more work, more fun, more rewarding? I'd say all of the above. Uh, it's certainly not any less work. You've got to get a group of teachers that are somewhat flexible and enjoy working together. If the teachers so, show the support and the fun in it, it becomes a very fun thing. I, I would hate to have this program not be available. I would encourage anybody uh, that enjoys education and working with kids to try something like this to let kids make some decisions that they are the ones that are working together. And as you kind of see in the background here, they're, they're not running around, they're not screwing up. They're kids that are engaged doing something that they enjoy. So trust yourself, it'll work. We're continuing our discussion at Falcon Ridge Middle School on the special Ag Week project, and we're going to talk with a, another one of the teachers from their house. And would you introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Becky Reuter, and I teach communications here at Falcon Ridge. And you've been teaching here how long? At this school? For 13 years, I believe. Okay, and then uh, the Ag project, you've been involved since the beginning? Yep, Mr. Fiegel started that, Scott Fiegel started that a while ago, and we've done it since day one here. Okay, now you teach communications, and so what does that have to do with agriculture? Everything. <laughs> well, what we do mainly here is we deal, deal with the group process, and so kids have to learn how to communicate in a group and function to produce a task, which is difficult for many seventh graders to do, let alone adults. But we also uh, talk about how they have to communicate with marketing as well, and that's important in agriculture. And so what are they doing today behind us? They are creating their farm plots and what we call storyboards. Um, you'll notice that the kids are working on both profit and actual actual profit and estimated profit graphs for both for all of their crops and their livestock. And they are also working on their family history that they have to create. And they also are doing just the final the final graph on the different crops and how they're dividing up the, their acreage. What would you tell teachers that uh that really don't grasp the integration piece here and think you have to stop everything else to teach agriculture? I think agriculture is so much a part of our lives. It is so inherent that I think, number one, you have to teach them not to take it for granted because we have never known anything except plenty and we've never known what it is like to not have solid agriculture and agricultural business. So I think the first thing we have to teach them is not to take it for granted. And then I think if we don't take it for granted, we can emphasize the importance of it. And it is in everything. I mean, it's in biology, it's in research, it is in just basic marketing, it is in supply and demand. I mean, it is, it is so inherent that I think we have to almost step outside and say, you know, how important is this really? And how much have we taken it for granted? And then I think you can implement it in any area you want to. Thanks, Becky. You bet.